Hey, it's Charlie Page, and I'm coming to you today from a different location, so I'm wearing these lovely earbuds. But I wanted to bring you something very important. I spoke with a fellow today who's been trying to make money online for seven years, and here's what's holding him back. He won't buy anything. He won't do anything because there are so many ripoff people out there. And I get it. There are a lot of ripoff people out there. There's no question about it. You have to be careful. So how do you separate the wheat from the chaff? How do you spot the good and avoid the bad? So I've got four ideas for you today that I want to share. I wrote an article a long time ago called uh, Don't Let the Turkeys Get You Down. It's over on my blog. You can see it at charliepage.com. But here's what I want to share with you today. There are four ways to spot, and based on my 18 years of experience, there are four ways to spot the good ones and avoid the bad ones. Now, point number one, I got to consult my notes. They have solid experience in the field they're selling you something in. So somebody who's uh, never run a pay-per-click ad, for example, but they're selling you a pay-per-click ad course, probably not so much. But if they are credible in that space, then you're probably okay. So you can check that box. So make sure they have experience in the area they're trying to teach you something in because that's really important. You can't sell from an empty cart. And so if a person has no experience, they can't teach other people how to make money online or build a web page or to rescue their romance or any of those type of things if they haven't been there already. There's an authenticity that needs to be there and you can spot it if you look for it. Number two, they share openly. So if you find somebody who's trying to sell you something, but they don't have a blog, they don't have a podcast, they're not providing free information, they're not providing some helpful free information with no obligation whatsoever. And I'm not talking about a squeeze page that promises a free report. That's fine, I love squeeze pages, use them every day. But that's a whole different animal. Here's what I'm talking about. People who share openly on video, in written form, on podcasts, from their experience, from their knowledge, from their research, and they don't require anything for you to get that information. Now, you might want to subscribe to their list later, but you're not required to do so. So that's point number two, they share openly. Point number three, they can be reached. Now, I'm not talking about being able to get Gary Vanderchuk on the phone this afternoon or be able to walk up and have lunch with Russell Brunson or anything like that. I'm talking about being able to reach the company and ultimately, if you need to, being able to reach the owner. So if they can't be reached, in other words, there's, in other words, there's not good help, you can't get an email returned, you're ignored, then that's a bad sign. So be careful right there. And by the way, if their response to everything you send them is, yeah, buy my product, run. Away, run away. Back when I started a long, long time ago, I was reaching out for help. I was broke. I didn't have anything. I didn't have any money. I was very sick. You know my story. I started with almost nothing because we'd lost everything because of me being so sick. And I asked several people for help back then. And one guy helped me tremendously. Thank you, Paul. And I'll never forget that. But a lot of them back in the day, this is back in 2001, a lot of them would, re would reply to my request for information with, buy the product because it's in there. Well, I didn't and I still wouldn't. Okay, point number four, their content, their material lifts you up, not pulls you down. If somebody's trying to sell you something from coaching to an information product to a software product and they're making you feel stupid if you don't buy their product or they're making you feel like you're less than or you're going to miss out. You're never going to have this opportunity again. You'll forever be in the loser camp because you didn't buy this product. Run and hide. Do not buy a product from them because that is a terrible, terrible way to sell things online. So let me go over the four again with you. Number one, they have solid experience, real experience in the area they're teaching you something in. Number two, they share openly. They share freely. You don't have to pay. You don't have to opt in. You don't have to do anything to get some of their information. I know my camera's shaking and I'm sorry about that. Number three, they can be reached or their company can be reached in a reasonable manner. And number four, they lift you up. Their material lifts you up and encourages you that you can do something too because they've done it. Now they're going to teach you. If you look for these four signs, I truly believe you will avoid the bad actors. You'll avoid all the 
the hypey, I rented an airplane so you could see how rich I am. Look at these models swarming all over me and I'm paying them by the hour or all that garbage that's out there, all that hyped up stuff. I believe you can avoid that if you follow these four guidelines and you can find the people who will truly help you because you know you only have to find one. You only have to find one person who's really interested in your success and is willing to share openly. And yes, they have products for sale, that's fine, but they're interested in your success, not just selling something. And they'll share openly, they'll answer your questions, and they're there when you need them. When you find that, you've found something very, very special. This is Charlie Page, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment down below if you did, and thank you for your time. I hope you have a great day.